Hi guys! Um, I know this is kind of an unusual angle, but I got a new toy. I actually got it last week sometime, and so I'm going to put it together and test it. I don't know if it works. Um, I had to wash the pad for it. And it currently doesn't have the... St I have the straps, but I am going to be bleaching them because I don't know what is on them. When I wash them, whatever is on them would not come out. So I want to bleach them and then rewash them. Or if I need to, if this works and that doesn't work, I will just purchase new straps for it. But also being this is only being used for dolls, I'm not too concerned or it's only being used for dolls right now. Obviously, using it for a real child, I would definitely put the safety straps on. So I am first threading this little, I don't know what you would call it, like a canopy. Not really a canopy. You can't even really call it a sunshade because it's see-through. But anyways, this is a Snugga Bunny, a Fisher Price Snugga Bunny. Snugga Bunny Poss Pan Swing, I believe is what it's called. I got this free off of Facebook. I actually was searching for something else on Facebook and it came up and I contacted the seller and I'm like, can I pick it up tomorrow? And typically the answer is usually no. But this seller was very kind and was like, actually tomorrow works better for me. I've got a few people wanting to pick it up tonight, but my baby's asleep, which I totally understand because at the point I contacted the lady, my kids were asleep as well. And so I was able to pick it up last week from her and I brought it home. I had to let it air out in the garage, the frame, and wash the padding. I... elastic in place. Okay, there we go. I went to pick it up from the seller and like I was telling Crystal, like I have nothing against people who smoke. I have nothing against two people who smoke marijuana. Honestly, I'm one of those people that believe it should be legal. And then just talk or tax the crap out of it like Colorado does and now they have a huge surplus for their schools but not to get on that soapbox but when I picked this up as soon as I pulled in the driveway the lady hopped out of the house and came walking out of the house with it and when she had the door open there was a very strong sense of incense which that itself doesn't bother me but once I got the swing in the car, it had a very um, strong scent of marijuana. So I left the swing in the garage for a few days to get the smell out of the plastic. And like these pieces, you can't get off this fabric piece. But I washed the rest of it. And it actually, the swing itself looks to be in good shape, but I don't know if it works or not. And it is missing one of these little birdies, but I have found the missing bird on eBay. If the swing works, I will be purchasing it. And we had this kind of swing with my kids. I really love these swings, these um, Fisher Price swings. First of all, they have three positions, so you can have baby facing out. 
you can have baby facing left, or you can turn it and have baby facing right. And they lock into position so they don't turn. You can also, like this is currently set on the highest. Um, you can lay the swing down for more newborns, or you can set it up for older babies and there's just a little spot underneath that you just squeeze. So I'm gonna turn it this way and then grab a baby and sit in it. I'll just do Oakley and I have it set on the newborn. So it has a newborn recline or like an older child. I'll just set it up there like I said. It has a five point harness. There's some straps that come over the shoulders and then straps that come up and they link together and buckle into here. Those, like I said, I need to bleach. When I took the swing apart, I honestly didn't think there was actually even buckles for it because they were all under the pad. So I'm kind of wondering if it's mill, mildew or mold on them because under the pad is plastic and if baby spits up or whatever and it gets trapped under there, that's probably why it grew. The swing also locks from the back. I don't have it locked since I don't have a wide enough area in my closet slash recording room. And it's not going to stay in here anyways. I have to find a spot for it, but I wanted to make sure it worked first. So it... Okay, I've got a sneeze stuck. Okay. I know as soon as I do this. Okay, we'll go on with this and hopefully I don't have to sneeze. So, first off, back here, there's screws and this part pops off and you can put batteries in it. I believe it's 4D batteries. Or, you can see down there the cord. And from here is another plug-in point for the cord. This is a plug-in one. Most of the Fisher-Price ones now plug in or have the battery option. I love the plug-in part because it saves on batteries. The only downside is you're stuck where it needs to be near a plug-in. So anyways, here's the control panel. We'll see if it works. So here's the on button. And as you see, we have power. And let's turn it up. And it's got a five-speed motor. And it looks like it's working. I right, set it on the highest speed. It's shifting back and forth because I don't have it locked. I think that's why it's having a little bit of issues. Ugh. There we go. It's a little more stable. There we go. It's speeding up. And I can slow it down. There's four. Or is it? Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually a six speed swing. As you can see, six goes pretty fast, and we'll go down to one. And it's kind of slowing down. And then, as you can see, the mobile is currently moving. We can shut that off. Or you can turn it back on. And then there's also, it can play music. And there's a volume control. Or there's like a nature sound or like white noise water and you just press that again to turn it off so clearly works so I need to work on those buckles and then I'm gonna order the bird that's missing it's a blue one and then I just need to figure out where I'm going to put it it's probably gonna be in our bedroom somewhere <sighs> but I'm really happy with it like I said the only issue really wasn't a huge issue to me. I just needed to clean it up. Now it doesn't smell like marijuana anymore. And I, like I said, I could care less that it did to begin with. It was free. So that's why it got taken all apart though. But it, it clearly works. So I am happy with that. 
and I hope everybody enjoyed this kind of putting it back together and a little bit of review on a Fisher Vice. This is the Snug -a Bunny version. As you can see, I'm going to turn off. I'll just turn the whole thing off. Slow her down. So you can see the headrest is a little bunny. This is an older version. There was also a rock and play and a bouncer made in the Snug -a Bunny. They had Snug -a Bunny, Snug -a Lamb, and Snug -a Puppy, I believe. And this pattern is a few years old, the Snug -a Bunny itself. But the swing itself, Fisher Price has had multiple swings like this. When my kids were little, they actually had the Animals of the Rainforest one, which was very similar to the swing, except for instead of like the pos pan design, it was more of a seat. That was, I believe, the first swing that Fisher Price made that plugged in. But pretty much now, all their swings are similar to this, and all of their swings have the plug in. They do have a few different swings now that actually are bouncers that you can take off which those are awesome for space saver situations. But like with this one, I thought this was neat. I loved the Snug -a Bunny. It's very gender neutral. And they do have some girly patterns. They do have some more boy patterns, but they do have quite a few gender neutral patterns. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see everyone later. Bye.